Artificial intelligence isn't just coming for your job. It's already got its digital fingers in your wallet. Right now, AI algorithms are making split-second decisions that could make you rich or potentially trigger the next financial meltdown. But do we really know who's in control of our money anymore? Today on Accelerating Space Decay, we're pulling back the curtain on AI's secret takeover of the financial world. Buckle up, quantum explorers. Your bank account may never be the same again. Welcome back, quantum explorers. Today's journey into the AI-driven financial frontier is part of our Business Frontiers and AI Innovations lineup. We're about to see how artificial intelligence is reshaping everything from your credit score to the global stock market. But first, let's talk about why Wall Street firms are pouring billions into AI research. Spoiler alert, it's going to affect your bank account sooner than you think. We'll dive into the hidden world of algorithmic trading where AI-powered systems make thousands of trades per second. We'll explore how these digital financial wizards are changing the game for everyone, from day traders to pension fund managers. But here's the million-dollar question. Are these AI systems making our markets more efficient, or are they setting us up for a tech-triggered financial catastrophe? We'll also pull back the curtain on how AI is revolutionizing personal banking. Ever wondered how your loan application gets approved or denied so quickly? Or why you're suddenly getting ultra-personalized offers from your bank? Spoiler, it's not because your bank manager suddenly became psychic. It's AI, working behind the scenes, analyzing your financial life in ways you might never have imagined. So, whether you're a tech enthusiast, a finance pro, or just someone who wants to know who or what is really controlling your money, stick around. This is one financial revelation you can't afford to miss. Ever feel like, um... You're just on the outside looking in. When it comes to, yeah, like... the financial markets work. Yeah. Well... We hear you while we can't promise that this deep dive is going to make you a Wall Street wizard overnight. Right. We can definitely pull back the curtain on yeah. a technology that's totally changing the game. Artificial intelligence. Absolutely. Yeah. So in this deep dive, we're breaking down how AI is already transforming. Right. Like yeah. right now, this isn't today. This isn't yeah. some like distant sci fi future. Right. Um, we've, we've got, got you know, articles, reports, the whole shebang ready to be unpacked today. Yeah, we've got some really fascinating stuff to dig into. Yeah. And and get this like. We're not just talking theory here. We're talking AI that can like sniff out fraud in real time. Craft personalized investment strategies. Yeah. Even predict market trends. It's incredible. It's a lot to cover, so buckle up. It really is one of the things that's so fascinating is just how quickly this is all unfolding. Right. You know, financial institutions aren't just dipping their toes into the AI pool anymore. They are diving in head first. Yeah. Now, you might be thinking, OK, this all sounds great. But where are they finding all these like AI geniuses to make it happen? Right. It's a global talent war out there. Really? Oh, yeah. Our sources tell us that J.P. Morgan Chase alone had over 3,600 open positions. In artificial intelligence in June of this year. Wow. And that's according to a report from Finance and Development magazine. 3,600. That's a whole lot of algorithms to write and data to crunch. Absolutely. And the investment reflects that. 40 examples of AI in finance 2024 states that global spending. In this sector is projected to hit a mind-blowing $97 billion by 2027. This isn't a trend. This is a full-blown transformation. $97 billion transformation. So they're betting big. But what are they actually doing with it? Can you paint us a picture? Yeah. So imagine this. You're a financial analyst. You're drowning in spreadsheets and legal documents. Just trying to assess the risk for a potential loan. Mm -hmm. It's tedious. It's time consuming. And it's prone to human error. Right. Now imagine AI stepping in to take over that heavy lifting. OK, so no more eye strain from staring at spreadsheets all day. Exactly. For example, Chase has implemented a platform called Coin. That uses AI to analyze legal documents and flag potential risks. And we learn from the future of finance. AI, machine learning, and predictive analytics, 
that this platform has significantly reduced processing time. Which frees up human employees for more strategic tasks. So it's not about replacing humans, it's about making them more efficient. Precisely. It's like having a super-powered assistant that never sleeps. I like the sound of that. So AI is handling the grunt work, leaving humans to handle the human stuff. Yes. I like the sound of that. But let's get specific. What are some other ways that AI is already being used in finance? Well, one area that's seeing massive change is fraud detection. So instead of reacting after the fact... AI is actually being used to stop fraud in its tracks. Okay. Think of it as this invisible shield that's constantly analyzing your transactions for any hint of suspicious activity. Learning and adapting with each passing day. That's both impressive and a little bit Big Brother-ish, right? Perhaps, but it's incredibly effective. One company, Optimum AI, uses machine learning to spot even the smallest discrepancies. That might signal fraudulent activity. And these systems are constantly evolving. And becoming more sophisticated and more effective over time. It's like having an army of digital detectives working around the clock to protect your money. It really is. Which is reassuring in today's world. But what about... What about those of us who aren't exactly rolling in dough? Right. Can AI help the average person manage their finances better? Absolutely. That's where robo-advisors come in. Robo-advisors? That sounds so futuristic. But are we talking about, like, actual robots giving financial advice? Oh, not exactly robots, but you've got the right idea. Okay. Imagine an AI that analyzes, you know... Uh, Millions of data points? Your income, your spending habits. Risk appetite? Uh-huh. And it takes all that and it creates a hyper-personalized investment portfolio that adjusts in real time to market fluctuations. So it's like having a personal financial advisor, but without the awkward small talk and expensive suits. Exactly. And because these robo advisors are powered by these really sophisticated algorithms, right. they can process these huge amounts of data and identify investment opportunities that a human advisor might miss entirely. OK, so that's starting to sound Pre pretty tempting. But how do we know that these AI advisors are making e smart decisions? Right. Are they really reliable enough to trust with our hard-earned cash? Yeah, and that's a question a lot of people have. And it brings us to one of the most exciting and potentially unnerving applications of AI. In finance, and that's predictive analytics. Predictive analytics. That sounds like something out of Minority Report. Can AI actually predict the future of the markets? Well, not with 100% certainty, of course. Right. But it can get pretty darn close. Okay. So think of it this way. Instead of relying on, you know, gut feelings. For historical trends. Imagine being able to analyze decades of financial data. News events, even social media sentiment to identify patterns and predict future market movements. So it's like having a crystal ball. But instead of magic. It's powered by massive amounts of data. Exactly. And while it's not about eliminating risk entirely. Predictive analytics allows investors and institutions to make much more informed decisions. Manage risk more effectively and potentially achieve better returns. That's a future I can get behind. But this all sounds incredibly complex. How accurate are these predictions in reality? Well, it's still a developing field, of course. But the results are already quite impressive. Really? Oh, yeah. We're seeing AI predict everything from stock market fluctuations to interest rate changes with remarkable accuracy. Wow. Welcome back to the deep dive. AI, machine learning, and predictive analytics highlights how hedge funds are already using these tools to gain an edge in the market. Hedge funds using AI to predict the market. It's like something out of a movie. It is a little bit, isn't it? It is. But what about the rest of us? Can everyday investors use these tools too? Absolutely. A lot of these technologies are becoming increasingly accessible. We're seeing robo-advisors that are leveraging predictive analytics to tailor portfolios for individual investors. There are even tools that analyze market sentiment. To help people make more informed trading decisions. Wow. So we're really talking about like... Democratizing access to these sophisticated financial tools. Exactly. That's exciting. But, you know, we've been talking a lot about banking and investments. Right. Where else are we seeing AI kind of popping up? In the world of finance? Well, it seems like it's popping up everywhere. But one area that I think is particularly interesting is insurance. Insurance, okay. Yeah, imagine AI analyzing your driving habits. Your health records. Even your social media activity. To personalize your insurance premiums. And offer you more tailored coverage. 
Personalized insurance. Yeah, exactly. It's wild. It's like those fitness trackers. That reward you for healthy habits. But instead of like cheaper gym memberships, it's lower insurance rates. I like it. Right. What's not to like? Well, it's important to remember that AI is ultimately a tool. And mm -hmm. like any tool, it has its limitations. Right. It's only as good as the data it's trained on. And it definitely can't replace human judgment entirely. Right, because at the end of the day... Finances are about more than just numbers. That's right. It's about people's lives. Their dreams, their futures. Exactly. And as we've seen, AI can be incredibly powerful. When it's used to augment human capabilities. To help us make better decisions. To create a more efficient and accessible financial system for everyone. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of AI and finance... I think the key takeaway here is this. AI is no longer some futuristic fantasy. It's here. It's happening now. It's happening now. And it's transforming the industry. In ways we're only beginning to understand. Right. And it really has the potential to reshape our relationship. With money entirely. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And the most exciting part is we're still in the early innings of this revolution. Who knows what the future holds for AI and finance. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be an interesting ride. It certainly is. An interesting ride indeed. And for anyone listening out there who's feeling even the slightest bit overwhelmed. Remember, you don't need to become an AI expert overnight. Just stay curious. Keep learning. And who knows? You might just find yourself riding the wave of this technological revolution. Instead of being swept away by it. <laughs> All right, quantum explorers, we've reached the end of our deep dive into the AI invasion that is finance today. Feels a little too much like AI is all up in our fiscal business to me. Who's to say someone isn't controlling it who wants to take my bitcoins? Meanwhile, these invisible forces are increasingly controlling our money, markets, and apparently even our economic futures. Gwen and Charlie seem super into how efficient and accessible AI could make finance and the markets and totally left me wanting a robo-advisor as soon as possible. But I'm 100% positive that just because AI is hanging out on the trading floor, it doesn't mean Wall Street is our friend. Give us a like and share this with any of your day trading friends. Or if you know someone who has gotten wrecked or stacked some coin using fancy modern technological money tools, we want to hear about it in the comments. We've got more for you every day this week. Until the next one, this is Theodore, reminding you to stay curious and keep exploring the quantum realms of modern finance and beyond. Mm -hmm.